Hi, I'm Hobson Lang, your Python professor. This week, you're going to learn about computer programming languages and why Python is the most popular computer programming language in the world. Python runs nearly everywhere there's a computer. Uh, that Instagram page you just visited, guess what? That's Python program running that trillion dollar business. Even Microsoft is replacing their crummy Visual Basic language with Python and all of their office applications like Excel, spreadsheets, and Word documents. What about that Roomba vacuuming your floor? Yep, that's Python. In fact, one of my students was admitted to a summer internship at Tangible AI where he's going to be programming a little robot to pick up trash. Uh, it's been his dream project that he's been working on for a long, long time. He's got a little Raspberry Pi like this, and he's going to be programming it with Python to recognize trash and pick it up. Um, Python runs on computers at the bottom of the ocean and underwater drones and submarines, and it runs in outer space and satellites like the GPS satellites that tell your phone where you are. It even runs on Mars. Most of the software on the little Ingenuity Mars helicopter drone is Python. All those self-driving cars you see driving around, you guessed it, Python. Perhaps the most famous AI of them all, ChatGPT. Yep, that's Python. A whole and a whole lot of data, but uh, we'll get to that later towards the end of the course when you're going to be using data to power your Python program. So Python is one of the new kids on the block. C++ and Java were much more popular in the early 90s when Guido Van Rossum decided to invent his own programming language called Python. As a student and research assistant at, Den at a Denmark university, Guido wanted a language that would make his chores in the computer lab a little easier. From the very beginning, he realized that the most important thing about a programming language is how easy it is to read. To make it easier to read, Guido used simple English words for most built-in Python keywords, and he made sure every keystroke was significant. Guido forced us all to lay out our code in an outline that provides a visual roadmap to the code. Even that space bar is a significant symbol in Python. The most popular in the popular coding book, uh, Clean Code, Bob Martin writes, the ratio of time spent reading versus writing is well over 10 to one. We are constantly reading old code as part of the effort to write new code. Making it easier to read makes it easier to write. So Python is the language of amateurs. You don't need math or a computer science degree to use it. This means that all those engineers building rockets and robots can use it to build little things like those um, rovers and helicopters flying around on Mars. So I hope you've started to think of all the ways that you can use Python in your life. Um, that will be one of the discussions you're going to go through this, this week. And um, that's one of the things that I want to make sure you get out of this course. I want to make sure you can accomplish what you want to do in the world. So anything you can think of that you might want to do with a computer, particularly your laptop, um, that's probably something that Python can help you with. So uh, this week, dream about all the things you're going to build with Python.